Hi, thanks for joining me on My Life on a Hill. My name is Tracy. This kit is for the gingerbread house kit, but it's going to be made from graham crackers. Now let's go ahead and see what's included in this kit. Now we're going to go ahead and untie the bow and open up. This is the close-up of the kit. Okay, we have our raw icing, which is also our glue. We have marshmallow, cereal, candy, more candy, more candy, marshmallow. Now, the kit is going to be different when it comes to the candies. You will not get the same candy in every kit, okay? This is just a sample kit. Um, yours might be different um, or might be similar. And don't forget our crumb cracker. This is going to be pre-cut to um, for the house. We're going to have a um, icing bag and I'll show you how we're going to use this. A baseboard and these two items will be um, while supply lasts which will have a gingerbread uh, man already made and a Christmas tree that's already um, in a form of a candy these are only while supply lasts and more candy again all candy will not be the same in the kits this is a raw icing now depend if your icing is too stiff Go ahead and you could add a little bit of water and just mix it till it gets to your consistency. Be careful not to put too much water. And if your raw icing is too soft, you could go ahead and add um, confectional sugar or cornstarch. But um, in this situation, I add a little bit of water. Now let's put this aside. And this is going to be or um, what we use to um, decorate our... Um, house and also to glue everything together now there's no hole in the tip and there will be any tip included if you if you want to try and ice it without my shortcut um, roll it down to maybe the beginning of if you have a logo on your icing bag just go ahead and roll it down to the maybe the beginning of the logo Okay, and then you don't want to fill it too too high because when it's time to icing, especially work, working with kids, it's going to ooze out the top. Um, another way that I like to use to icing my bag is go ahead and put in a large a larger cup and fold it down. These this might be easier for kids, and that's how you have your icing bag ready to be filled and start pushing it down now make sure when you're not using your raw icing that you keep it tightly covered so that it doesn't harden up on you okay and I'm only gonna put this much inside right now because I'm only using it as a glue and then if you want put it on the table or the counter Again, this is, I find every way possible to make it easy because I have two cents and they don't have the strength to pull everything down. And so just push it down. When gluing my graham cracker, make sure it's not flipped. You have the back and the front side. It won't be a problem, but you know, if you want to make it look good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my sides together. But I wanted to show you now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tip to my bag. But I'm only going to cut a, not a big um, size hole because I'm only gluing right now. So maybe if you can see that size. Now let's start gluing our pieces together. See, it's okay if it's on both sides. And we're going to put it to the side. Okay, we have our four sides and our rooftop. Now, I have went ahead and glued everything together. We're going to let it sit. And then we'll come back and we'll put the house together. Now, let's take our base. 
on each frame it took maybe about 10 to 15 minutes to dry so now we're going to try and position the house where we have a front walkway because we want to make a nice candy walkway okay if any of the graham cracker bricks that you're using just go ahead and glue it back together that's what happened to me now this is the pointy top the peak of the roof go ahead and keep it there let's ice the sides now remember I washed the sides Before you close it up completely, put your glue. Turn it around, make sure you have all corners caught. Like maybe this part's coming in too much, so we're gonna, let's see, use your knife and, there we go. Now this is my door. If you want, you could keep your door open but I kind of want mine to close. And don't forget your um, fireplace. I just glued it. All around. And while everything is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my landscape. Let's take our first candy and frame everything. I found two candy canes. You could have one window, as many windows as your kids desire. How do you not eat these candles? Just do like one layer at a time when it comes to the roof. Okay, and this is my version of my gingerbread house. Um, again, it depends on what your kit have. You will have lots of candy, um, a base, graham cracker, raw icing, um, icing bag, and um, while supply lasts, you will also have the gingerbread man and the little cute little Christmas tree right there. I like the little marshmallow that looks like snow, my little walkway, my roof, my side window. I didn't have enough um, of the candy that I used on the front window, so then I used cereal on the side windows. Now this kit is for you and your family to enjoy. Be creative. And please don't forget to share on my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash decorating kit. Now don't forget, we also have cake, a cake de um, decorating kit, and that's for birthday parties. If you need an activity to do uh, for your child's birthday, if your child's trying to earn a patch for a Girl Scout, or just mommy and me time, or just something to keep them busy um, during different holidays or weekends, whatever it may be. Thanks again, and please, if you can, subscribe to this channel, and you have a wonderful and fun time making this house.